All right, I think we are going. Everything looks like it's slow, but we are gonna make it happen anyway. What's up and welcome back. My name is Brett Martineau and this is Think Like Me or Don't. Listen to that. I don't even know. I have no idea why the chair is squeaky, but it is. And we're gonna deal with it and it's gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna live. Watch the last video. Uh, we talked about Task Warrior and I showed you some cool setups where you, after you've told Task Warrior how to prioritize your task list, you can have it always show you what's the most important task at any given time, which is pretty sweet. What I wanna do in this video is show you how you can set up time tracking using an app called Time Warrior. And yes, Time Warrior and Task Warrior are both made by the same company. Well. Time Warrior and Task Warrior are made by the same group of awesome dudes and dudettes. I don't have any, I've never met any of them, but I would love to shake all of their hands because they're awesome. And then at the end of the video, I wanna talk to you about why I think it's a better idea for you to use Time Warrior and Task Warrior than any other time tracking task management system. From inside your terminal, if you have it set up like I showed you in the last video, then you'll have on the left, your little workspace, and on the right, you'll have your tasks and then your burn down chart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install Time Warrior, so sudo, apt get install time warrior now this could be different depending on which uh, system you're on if you're on a mac it would be brew install time warrior if you're on linux it'd be apt get if you're using windows i don't actually know what it is you have to figure that one out we'll hit enter put in our password our pseudo password and then it's just going to run the install so then just wait for it to go and then once it's done i'm going to clear this out just to keep it clean on this side. Uh, now it's installed, okay? Now, the first thing we wanna do is get it configured so that it's actually running correctly. So I'm gonna type in the default Time Warrior command, which is time W. That's gonna ask me if I wanna create a new database and the answer is yes. So I'm gonna hit Y or type in yes and then it's created this whole setup for us. So that's, that's, the, that's how you install Time Warrior. It's pretty straightforward. Now let me show you a couple things about this and kind of start to explain why this is cool. In Task Warrior, you have the ability to tell Task Warrior that a task has been started. So like, for example, task 10 right there at the top. If I say task 10 start, let me give this a little bit more space so that it can actually show us what we're talking about here. There we go. So once we've started that, you can see it shows up on the right hand side that it's been started. We can do the same thing in Time Warrior to keep track of the time that's actually been spent for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the, the time command, time W and then start. In quotes, we're gonna do the name of the task, and then outside the quotes, we're gonna put the, pro the client, so C4, right? So that's gonna start that time track, and you can see there, 825, 42. Now we can do a lot of cool things with Time Warrior, including modifying the actual start time. Say you get started on something, but you forget to start the time tracking, so you wanna go back and make changes to that. Well, we can do that. Uh, so if we look at our summary here, we can see, okay, we got this task that we started at 824. Well, maybe we actually started it at 815. So all we need to know is what the ID is of this particular task, which we can get by doing that same command, time w summary, and then using a flag ID, so it's colon IDS, and that'll give us this at one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say time warrior at one, move, and then 815. Boom. Now you can see that it's moved, so if we do that same, let me clear this out. So now uh, when we look at this, we can say, Okay, that started at 8.15, so we got 12 minutes going. Now, we don't actually want to have to start and stop the time tracking every time we start the task inside Task Warrior. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install what's called a hook that will tell Task Warrior that it needs to go and start the time tracking in, ta in Time Warrior every time a task is started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set task 10 stop because we need to be able to mess with that later. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna navigate into the hooks folder inside our tasks uh, directory. So we're gonna do cd for change directory, dot task forward slash hooks. Now what we're gonna do, and I've actually, there's a, there's a command in the description of this video. So just copy that directly and paste it. Um, you're just gonna copy that, it's wget, and then it's the extension directly to this file. You'll just hit that and it's going to uh, download it. Now, if you do ls in that um, directory, you'll see that the onmodify.timewarrior is there, okay? Now, what we need to do is make that file executable. So just, this part is a little bit confusing, but just follow along with me. We're gonna do sudo chmod, which is for permissions. We're gonna change the permissions. Then we need to do plus x and then onmodify.timewarrior, okay? Enter. That will change the permissions of that file. Now, if we go back here, if I start task 10, task 10 start, 
you'll notice it's doing two things. The first thing it's going to do is start the task in Task Warrior, but it's also going to start the time tracking uh, inside of Time Warrior. So you can see that here. Uh, we've got the, now if I go to Time W, you can see that it's recording now, uh, that it started that. And if I do Time Summary, it's got both of those um, uh, stuck together. Now I want to talk to you just for quickly about why I think this is important and why it's probably a better idea for you to use Task Warrior and Time Warrior instead of Trello and Harvest or whatever the time tracking apps that you can install on your computer, whatever those things are. There's a couple of reasons. I think the first reason is that as we've seen here, uh, it's they're tightly integrated. So when you start the task, it's actually just going to kick off the time tracking, which is fine. But you might be thinking, well, why would I not just install one of those uh, programs that automatically tracks everything that I do? And then I can just say, if I'm on this URL or in this program, it's for this client and blah, blah, blah. Well, the reason is because it's not going to give you you're not, as a freelancer, you're not gonna be really on top of what you're doing for whom, which is going to cause problems when it comes down to making sure that you're doing the right things for the right clients. Like we talked about before, when you start to think of your clients, not in terms of a group of people, but in terms of a list where one is at the top and one is at the bottom, you start to understand that you need to be dividing your time appropriately so that more of your time is being spent on the clients that are more that have a higher priority and less is being spent on the front clients that have a less priority it's not that you like it's not necessarily that one is better one client is better than another client that's not the point the point is for you in your business in trying to further your income and generate more of it obviously uh, you have to be very particular about where you're putting your time and if someone, if one of your clients is more important than another, you have to treat them like they're more important than the other clients. And so it's really important that you start to think of your tasks in that way. The other reason, which kind of ties into that, is no matter how much you try and think of it differently, you can't do two things at once. So it's much better for you to get into the mindset and the mentality that when you go to do your tasks, you're doing them one at a time. You're starting on one and you get it until it's done. And then you start on the next one and you do it till it's done. And you're only looking at the tasks that are at the top of your list. Because otherwise you just get, you're all over the place. And they're, they kind of go hand in hand. The idea that you can multitask, which you can't, and having too much of your task list visible to you and having it not sorted gives you the excuse and gives you the ability. It really enables you in a, the bad way to jump around from thing to thing and not really be laser focused and really get things done. So doing it this way uh, forces you to look at your task list and say, okay, what's the top of my task list? Let's do that. Task 10, start, boom, now we're done. Task 10, done, boom, what's next? All right, task eight. So we're gonna start on task eight. So task eight, we're gonna start on it, we do it, and then it's done. And then task five, and then it's done. And then we get more tasks that come in. So we stick them in, updates the priority order, and we just do them in that order. And then we don't have to worry about whether we're tracking the time because all we're worried on about is what should I be doing now and how can I do that best? That's really the key. That's why Task Warrior and Time Warrior are gonna be better. Not necessarily the, the tools themselves feature-wise are, I mean, it's, this is a very dumb system in the sense that you have to tell it everything you want it to do. But the beauty is once you tell it what needs to happen, it's only gonna spit out to you what you need to see. And if you just listen to it, you will always be on task. You'll always get things done on time and you'll never be behind or in a situation with a client where they're always asking, what are you doing? Why are you not you know, completing the tasks that I've asked you to complete? So that's what I would recommend. Uh, install Time Warrior. I know this video was kind of long and a little bit boring. I apologize. I don't apologize. Are you kidding me? This, this, this stuff is awesome. This stuff is dope as shit. So for myself, for the dogs back there, for my squeaky chair, this has been Think Like Mirror Don't. My name is Brett Martineau and we will see you in the next video.